especially those last two. Second and seven. Again, it's Kane. Chased by Hampton. Rick Kane outside the 40. Stopped by Fensick. Third down, three. Detroit opening seconds of Thanksgiving Day's game. From Detroit, Jeff Humlo has his pass picked off by Gary Fensick. Fensick up on his feet, down to the 35, where the Bears get the first break. The Bears have a turnover. John Morrison made the tackle, but the Bears got the deflected pass. And Yale scores again. Fensick's the young receiver that used to play collegiate football at Yale. Gets his fourth interception. Hill had a chance to put that ball away. He's been spectacular in the last two games. Second and eight. He's caught 11 passes. Has Watson. Back single out wide to the right. Watson to the left. Caught. That is Steve Schubert who made the reception. Stopped by number 27, Luther Bradley. The secondary in just a moment. Hayton kicks off somebody behind the line of scrimmage. And shakes down to about the 15. His arm did not start forward. Purifoy. Purifoy. He picked up the rebound. And that'll belong to Detroit. Sit at the Bears 37 at the moment. And Pumlo drops on first down and throws to the outside. David Hill has the reception inside the 25 to the 24. Low snap. Good kick. Lions break on top, 3-0, a 35-yard field goal. Second and three with your team, the Eagles. Mike Pitts as Ricky Watts near midfield and a first down for Chicago. Willie McClendon as they're running back now as Peyton is out. McClendon picks up the foot. Williams gets the catch. Dave Parkin makes the tackle. Not enough for a bear first down. They'll have to punt with Good, Bob Parsons. And Jeff Pumlo. The rookie quarterback drops and throws. And hit. Bo Robinson makes the reception, and the Lions have a first down. Pumlo. And his receiver, Freddie Scott, on the outside, and another Lion first down. Would have been the regular if he had not been hurt. Complete. He read the blitz perfectly. Dean Washington made the reception, and Virgil Livers made the tackle for Chicago. Dexter. He slices for about five before Tom Hicks drips him up. On third down, they need four, and Tomo drops and throws. It has Dexter, Dexter Bussey. Gary Campbell was out there with him, but Fussy got the best rushing average on the team. <laughs> includes Walter Payton. Pass is caught by Leonard Thompson from Pomlo and Virgil Livers on the coverage. Hit from 35. He has hit from 29. That's much concern earlier. Detroit jumps in there offside as Payton's been wide for right. A first down. Dave yeah. Parkin knocked him out of bounds. I believe Gallagher jumped over. It looks to me like Fitz is using a staggered count. Freddie Scott swings in motion behind Jeff Conlo. Conlo is chased by Osborne. And taken down by Jimmy Osborne. They're absolutely bit warm with all that equipment on as Conlo fires and has Hill. And Hill is out near midfield, stopped by Doug Plank. And that is a good throw. Second and ten as Scott swings the motion behind Pablo. Rush is tough. And successful as Alan Page gets through and a flag goes down. Watch it. He holds the ball right on the end with one hand and drops it that way. Got to be careful with Shaw. Here's Scott. the snap. Ball is snapped back to a linebacker, number 59 or 58. Dennis Franks, I believe, was the ball carrier. I think it was Ed O'Neill, the it linebacker. Was Ed O'Neill, I'm sorry. He needs 20. Six straight back. Outside, Peyton has got two blockers in front of him. Walter Peyton, still on his feet. 11, perhaps. Jimmy Allen made the tackle. Lions take the flip. And back off. But now they do flip. Six gets it outside. 
go is complete. And that'll be a fair first down, and that is an excellent throw by Mike Phipps. What a great play. Justifiably so. Here's McClendon. James Harrell, number 51, knocked him out of bounds, but McClendon, after sort of feeling for his blockers early, got double tight end uh, situation for the Bears. Does the full tumble in midair and is near a first down. It depends on where he came down. Going for it. As his receiver Ricky Watts over on the sideline and uh, was he inbound? Yes, he was. Mike Phipps. has the reception struggles out of bounds John Brooks the left linebacker got him super offensive line for the Miami Dolphins this coach who left San Francisco with regret now happy in Detroit Combo. first down Lions 11 they look better than that On first down Tomlow goes again stop in their territory Hit by Terry Schmidt, but another Detroit first down. There's making a blitz. It's not a fake. Cole Robinson. Hard pin. The outside stopped by Bruce Heron. And Horace King with a big grin on his face after that pickup. Left in the first half, and the Lions lead the Bears 6-0. Tomlo throws, and it's complete to Leonard Thompson. Thompson, touchdown Detroit. Third down. Lips hey. hangs in well. Jennifer Watts intercepted by Detroit. I believe it was Luther Bradley. Get off the sideline. Still with his chin strapped back, and then it's picked off by the Bears, number 46, Doug Plank. He went down, they say, as a result of contact. The official couldn't come up with his handkerchief, but he did come up with his hat, or off with his hat, and they'll bring it back to where the interception was made. He's one of the toughest little backs in all of football. Plank out of Ohio State. He'll bench press 350 a lot, a lot of repetitions. Makes the move. He's a hitter, though. He isn't going to stay down. Wild card possibilities are too numerous to run down. Homlo. Homlo has it picked off by Allen Ellis. And Allen Ellis swings to the outside. Is tackled at the Detroit 25-yard line. And the Bears are in good workable shape. Leonard Thompson made the tackle. They trail 13-0. No! Billy McClendon. And McClendon swings down to the 20. Third down two. Mike Fitz, the Bear quarterback, calls him. Williams and Payton. Payton does the work and Walter Payton down inside the 10 what a run Luther Bradley made the tackle but Walter Payton gets up slowly in a strange looking formation Mo Robinson shifts up right up on the line Freddie Scott. It'll be a Detroit first down and talk about cool. Amlo to Kane. Kane inside the 15, perhaps stopped by Finsick. Along with Kane. And that's with Kane. Touchdown number four. For Kane. Again. Steps up and fires and has Brian Bashnagel. That should be enough for a bear first down. The suit is just looked at. This has good protection again. Close to Watts. It's picked off. Jimmy Allen back there with Ricky Watts. Walter Payton to the outside and Payton with some room. Walter will have it 
a first down and will get almost to midfield before he's knocked out of bounds by James Hunter. Tasha Heifetz, if he can play the violin, watch this. 32 100-yard rushing days. They say he isn't that fast. That's come nobody say. ever catches him. Constantly they don't. And I'll tell you, the Lions have played him as tough as any football team I've seen. He's fast enough. Nice guy. Rips this time, throws high. Sweep to Vashnagel. And just barely. Third and 17. The ball all the way back to the 47. And Phipps again will have to put it up and hope for protection. Something happened. Bubba got part Baker. of Phipps's face, I believe. I think his nose is broken. It's just a major league bloody nose, they say. Bob Avellini had been a Bear starter, in fact, when they went to the playoffs and lost to Dallas a couple of years ago. He was their quarterback. Second down, Avellini gets it out to Williams. Williams seeking the first down, almost gets it. John Brooks herds him out of bounds. Another big strong guy with a lot of heart. McClendon went to the outside and will have the Chicago Bear first down. Nagel is out near midfield to the 48 as the clock continues. It's off the season against the St. Louis Cardinals. And it's still a tremendous rival with Cardinals and Bears, huh? Willie McClendon takes this green pass and breaks a couple of tackles. The Bears have left at Tampa. And at Green Bay, both of them are in their division. Well, it sure has. Have a little drop. And throw. And caught by Greg Latta. The tight end. It's out of bounds, stops the clock. I mean, somewhere. There's Avellini this time. He gets Ricky Watts. And the ball comes loose. The Bears pick it up. But they're going to say it still belongs to... Still belongs to Watts. That's Willie McClendon. That reason to be Avellini. There's no more time on the clock. Goes for alley -oop. And goes out of the end zone. And Detroit has its shutout. First time since 1939. They have shut out the Bears and the first shutout ever for Monty Clark. What an effort by young Jeff Pomlo. Bears. Tampa hopes that there are some leftovers available from the Detroit Lions Thanksgiving Day feast against the Bears. Thoroughly dominating the line of scrimmage, Detroit held Walter Payton to 54 yards the third consecutive week that Chicago's thoroughbred failed to crack the century mark. The Lions defense caused three bare turnovers when initiated by number 51 James Harrell blitzing from his outside linebacker position. Dave Pirafoy, number 75, was the beneficiary of Harrell's effort rambling 37 yards to set up a Detroit field goal. The Lions offense was paced by quarterback Jeff Kamlo. Despite throwing three interceptions, Kamlo showed increasing maturity, culminating a textbook drive with a 22-yard touchdown pass to number 39 Leonard Thompson near the end of the first half. It all added up to a 20 to nothing Lion whitewash, only their second victory in a season of disappointments.